Now this is something many of you have asked for, CarQuest oil filter, specifically their standard and their premium oil filter. Let's see what the differences are. Now a couple of things we can quickly go over before we cut open these filters. Number one, both filters are made in the USA. The premium filter here on my left, this runs for around $8, the one on the right runs for around $5. Typically, advanced auto parts do carry these in stock. Sometimes it may not be on the shelf, so just ask uh, the rep behind the counter, and a lot of times they're just in the back room. But taking a look at the construction, you can quickly see there's a very big difference between the premium and the standard. And if you take a look, you'll see this reddish material underneath this base plate with the premium and on the standard, it's black. This component is the anti-drain back valve and on your higher end filters they run a silicone anti-drain back valve as opposed to rubber. And we'll talk more about this once we cut open the filter but ultimately silicone can just withstand lower temperatures and higher temperatures a lot better than rubber. And this is standard. You know, this is not a knock against CarQuest. Your lower oil filters, lower costing oil filters will run rubber and your higher oil filters, in this case this is designed up to 10,000 miles, will run a silicone anti-drain back valve. Whoops! So that being said, let's go ahead, cut them open, and see what they're made of. So let's pull off the covers here and see what we're dealing with. Right off the bat, this is just a stamped piece of steel, same component for both filters. Sometimes you'll find a coil spring, for example, Wix XP. Uh, and some other ones they use a coil spring but the whole point behind this is is that it keeps all of the components nice and tight compact inside the filter that's all that it's there for now let's take a look at both filters let's start with the standard right off the bat as you can see very nicely made you know we've opened maybe 30 oil filters at this point and some of them we, we found some some wide gaps in the media overspray with the gluing for five dollars this is a very very nicely made filter metal end caps as you can see and a metal center tube now the efficiency in this case is 96 percent at 20 microns this is really designed for your conventional motor oil you could run so synthetic you could run a blend uh, but really it's designed for your conventional motor oil because it doesn't last as long as this this is good up to 10,000 miles. We'll talk more about that in a moment. So again, here on top, this is your bypass valve and both filters have them, as you can see. Whole point behind this is in, is in very, very cold conditions or if the filter is incredibly, incredibly clogged, instead of starving the engine of motor oil, this little valve that opens up in here and allows unfiltered oil to enter the engine so it doesn't starve of motor oil. And as, again, as you can see, both filters have that valve. Now some vehicles, uh, they won't have the valve because it's not required on the manufacturer, by the manufacturer, in other words, the, the vehicle. But that being said, most filters you'll find a, a bypass valve as well as an anti-drain back valve. Now looking at the premium, again, you are running a metal or metal end caps, metal center tube, but the media is different. This is a multi-fiber high density media. This is a synthetic blend media. What that means ultimately is that this can last longer. This is good up to 10,000 miles and really designed for your premium conventional or your synthetic motor oil. In terms of, it, of efficiency, this is at 99% 30 microns, okay? So really two reasons why you're paying $3 more for this filter. It's designed up to 10,000 miles, really best used with synthetic motor oil, but also this component right here. This is your anti-drain back valve. The whole point behind this valve is when you shut off the engine, instead of having all of the engine oil, oil drain out of the filter, this little valve retains the oil, so the next time you start your vehicle, there's oil readily available. Now, with your higher end oil filters, you find silicone as opposed to rubber. And that's because silicone can withstand lower temperatures and higher temperatures better than the nitrile rubber. I believe the range is, this can go up to 450 degrees. And over the long term, again, if you're running for up to 10,000 miles, you want a better material. And that's why every oil filter, the higher end oil filters, they always always have a silicone anti-drain back valve. And that's really what you're looking at here. So again, for the $3 difference, 
you get more miles, you get 99% efficiency at 30 microns. Both have metal end caps, both have a metal center tube, but ultimately you're paying for that extra mileage that you get out of the premium oil filter.